Hello everyone and welcome to ENS Repair again. I'm with Kid, one of your other host. Today I'm going to show you how to clean a VCR. I know it's a little late for it because VCR is coming outdated, but there are people who still have them like me. I met up the guy at one of my jobs in a restaurant one time. I'd been to an electronics school and he told me how to do it using denatured alcohol and a business card and some Q-tips, a tape recorder head lubricant, and a can of aerosol or a can of air like compressed air where you spray out like a computer. First thing you want to do is unplug it, wait a few seconds, make sure everything discharges faster than everything. And take your Phillips or flat screwdriver, depending on what kind of screw head is in it, and undo the screws. Some of them have two and one on each side, and some of them have one here in the middle and some on the side. It all depends on how old your VCR is and the make and model. I've already loosened these up. Just lay them out to the side. Then after you get done taking your cover off, you turn your VCR around facing you, plug it up, then you can take a Q-tip If your can's been set a while, you can kind of shake it up there and make it lubricated. Get your cotton swab soaked in denatured alcohol. Then you can use it. Well, first, take your aerosol can and just blow everything out real good. And even though these ain't as sensitive to take electricity as a computer, it wouldn't hurt to have your wrist strap, but I'm just going to freehand it. Clean all your heads here, your video head, your race head, and all your guides with this. And see how the black comes off there on it? And you may have to use a bunch of cotton swab. And use a good brand of cotton swab so it don't get all the static stuff everywhere. Clean the head real good and the tracks best you can. Get all that dirt off. Clean the best you can, see how it's getting a little black. Try to get the excess out. So you have to get black, get everything really good and clean. Like I said, clean all any place tape travels, guides. arm here that pulls the tape out around the video head. Maybe even wipe off the track if it's real nasty like. And keep going over it all with a cotton swab and some Q-tips until the Q-tip head comes out clean. And make sure you don't get any little pieces of fuzz on any of the parts.
See, and it's not getting as dirty now. And kind of rub over everywhere where the tape travels, as I stated before. So all that tape in one little spot that the tape traveled have dirt on it and the tape would get dirt back on it and transfer it to the other places as it travels along. Okay, then you take a business card, wet it with alcohol, really good, shake off excess. Hold this up against the heads here. I've used this before and it worked, this little trick. As an electrician, my friend of mine taught me, or old ex friend. Just keep going around and around. Keep it curved like that and put pressure where the heads travel. And as it goes around, so it'll leave black stuff. And you keep doing that until it gets clean. May have to use a couple of business cards. Well, you get the idea and keep doing it until it's clean. Radio Shack sells a, some lubricant for electronics and like a little tube. It looks kind of like a needle. And it's got a little clip on it like where you put it in your pocket. And it's a lubricant. And it's got a little point on it. I don't have any now. I'm sorry. I'd rather have that. And you can use it to put a little drop to kind of lubricate where these arms travel, but not too much. You don't want to drip down in that and short it out. And it causes it to get run and get to where it's not supposed to be. Then, this here is also by Radio Shack. Realistic tape recorder head lubricant. Make sure your tips are clean. I'm just going to kind of rub a little along the line here. It ain't moving parts like metal against metal. Check off your excess. I'd much rather have that in a tube at Radio Shack sales, but I ain't got night so. But just ask your local Radio Shack people. They should still carry it. It's been a while since I bought any. And I'm not affiliated with Radio Shack or any of their products or publishing in them. And then when you get done, you kind of dry up, use a dry ink, kind of dive up the excess. A little bit. Then kind of just let it dry a little. Because you don't want to put your tape in there while it's still a little wet. So allow about five minutes for it to dry. Well, our five minutes is up. And as me and Mr. Fixit discussed while we was waiting, if you, preferably, instead of using Teflon oil, if you got some kind of like a non-conductive, non-corrosive grease you can just lightly put on there for such electronic appliances, that would be even better. And I got some non-slip fluid here that I found for a quarter of a chain, changers record changer and tape recorder drive. You can kind of clean the tracks and stuff a little bit with that. It says use a suave applicator to apply cleaner to wheel or drive surfaces. Allow several minutes for drying for tur turning in and on. So, and that's by Radio Shack. And like I said, we're not affiliated with them. We're pushing in their products. Use your own brand wherever you prefer. After it dries, take your cover. Line it up like so. Be sure to And always make sure the unit is unplugged when you're putting fluid in it. And then put your screw back in and you're done. Now everything's together. You can hook, put it back where it belongs and plug everything up real good. 
Make sure all your bits are clean and stuff. Again, this has been an ES Repair Production, and we thank you for watching. Thank you.